Hello people of God, this is Prophetess Miss Deja Vu. Welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't, like, comment, and share. People of God, today we are going to be talking about is sex before marriage a sin? <laughs> if you're courting, if you're um, pre-marital sex or marital sex, or if you're married, whatever, you know, you guys are welcome here. Um, but before we get started, I would love us to pray over this word. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We ask that you manifest your presence in this place, have your way in this place, Father God. Let the words that I speak be not of me, but of your Holy Spirit. Father God, meet every need, heal every broken heart. Father God, forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, Father God. Father God, show us your way that we may follow, Father God. Teach us, Father God. You are so worthy to be praised. We will leave you to do it, and we know that you will, Father God. We ask for protection over this word. We ask for your blessing over this word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. People of God, um, this is a very, this has been becoming a very, uh, controversial type of thing like you know should we is it okay to have sex before marriage it's not okay um to have sex um before marriage but i just want us to go over a few things that the bible says first of all people of god whether you like talking about this or not sex is good <laughs> Sex is good, and the Bible says sex is good. The Lord created sex, and it's for husbands, and it's for wives, husbands and wife. It was, it's a gift from God. Um, it was created for physical, emotionally, and spiritual bonding between the husband and the wife. People of God, um, sex is something special shared between the two it's a it's very um it's very um intimate it's a very intimate um a very intimate relation a very intimate um in part it's 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 something very serious to God, people of God. It's a covenant made by God, people of God, and in um, Mark ten. Let's read in Mark ten. It says, "But at the beginning of creation, God created them." male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they too will become one flesh, and they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People of God, um, the Lord goes on to say, be fruitful, you know, God blesses them, and he tells them to be fruitful, people of God, um, when you have sex, when you have sex before marriage, or when you step outside of your marriage, people of God, you open the door to curses, you open the door to, um, this is why we have a lot of broken families, single mothers, single fathers. Um, a lot of women wanted to be independent women. You know, uh, a lot of fathers walking out of their children's life, starting another family, don't do nothing for none of the, their other kids, but they're taking care of another kid, and they're having kids here, there, there. And they done left their, their kids from way back when. Um, this is also... This also creates soul ties because um, 
sex was created for the physical, emotional, spiritual bonding between the husband and the wife. So say you're courting and you know you, you're your pre-marital uh, sex. People of God, you're creating a soul tie. You guys are creating. You guys are creating a soul tie. So if this person cheats on you, or, um, or if say you guys don't last or don't work out, you have a bond, a soul tie with that person because you guys had sexual relations. People of God. Um, let's read First Corinthians. Let's go to First Corinthians. Um, First Corinthians seven says. Now, for the matter you wrote about, it's good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. But since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. The husband should fulfill his marital duties to his wife and likewise the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her body, but yields to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but yields to his wife. Do not deprive each other except perhaps by mutual consent consent for a time so that you may be devoted so that you may devote yourself to prayer. Come again together so Satan will not tempt you because you lack self-control. Glory to God. Um, people of God, stay in prayer. This is something that you guys do. The Lord, um, when you when you get married, you this is a, a sealed blood covenant. This is a covenant between you, God, and your, and your husband or your wife, and you guys become one with the Lord. Um, people of God, you must stay in prayer. Um, what God joins together, let no one take apart. Give the devil no way. Give him no way, people of God, um, to enter. Because if both of you guys are in agreement, right, you guys are unstoppable. So if Satan can get you, if Satan can get you guys to disagree, there's a leak. There's a crack. If um, one of us is watching pornography, if one of us is masturbating, if one of us is cheating, if one of us is stepping outside of our marriage... These are open portals to demons, um, people of God, which I made a video on sex demons. If you guys could check that out in the link below um, as well. So um, anyway, people of God, um, the, in Matthew it says, even if a man lusts over a woman in his mind, he already committed sin in his heart. You know how you see a fine girl or a fine man? You be like, damn, he is fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> or, damn, she looks, you know, she is sexy. Like, damn, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, the Bible says that we already committed adultery. We already committed sin in our heart, people of God. So we must be very careful. Um. Once you have married people of God, the Lord blesses your marriage bed, your your burning fire, your passion, it never dies out, people of God. Now, of course, this is if you guys are in agreement, you guys are are following and obeying God, and you guys are being faithful and loyal to one another, people of God, um... The Bible says you guys become one flesh. You guys become one in your ministry, um, one with God. One, Whatever you do, you guys are one flesh, mind, body, soul, people of God. Um, and ladies, you know, just a little tip, ladies. Um, just a little tip. You know, um, if you have sex before marriage... What are you leaving to the imagination? No shade. No shade. But think about it. What are you leaving to the imagination, people of God? And this can go vice versa as well. Um, 
For example, you know how when you're getting married to someone, you know how they say, you know, the, the bride and the groom is not supposed to see each other, you know, until the day of the wedding at the altar or whatever, when she, and she has a veil on, and he still can't see her until she gets up to the altar and it lifts her veil and he gets to see his bride. And if he sees her before that, it's considered, like, bad luck or whatever, you know, whatever is a, um, it's this, it's, it's kind of like that, people of God. It's kind of like that, like, like you, like you, you know, it's kind of like that. Like, if you're giving me everything now, I got to taste it, I got to see it, I got to, I got everything. Why do I need to get married? Why, why do I need to get married? I got everything right now. What's the big deal? You know what I mean? Like, not everybody is like that. But I'm just, it's just a little a little nugget to think about. Like, you know, the Lord wants your marriage bed to be holy. He wants us to be blessed. And he will bless your marriage bed if you do it the right way. This is a gift from God, people of God. You know? So, um, and for those of you who are having sex already, don't beat yourself up, this is not no condemnation or nothing like that, all you have to do is repent, go before the Lord, you know, you and your spouse, you know, and repent and ask the Lord to give you guys strength and forgive you guys and also practice abstinence, practice it, you know, until that special day, that special moment, and you, and ladies, you could be a super freak for your man, you feel me, and fellas, the Bible said that her body is not her own, you have authority, you feel me, you do what you want to your woman, you understand, so, I mean, that's so much more passionate, and sexier, and fulfilling, and lasting for just a moment, you understand, so, that's just something to think about. Also, um, people of God, hallelujah, glory to God, Jesus, you are worthy. Um, people of God, um, I want to leave you guys with this scripture in Revelations 19 and 9. And, um, it says, then the angel said to me, Write this, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, um, these are the true words of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. People of God, I pray that this blesses you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.